To mix the volume of music, commentary and sound effects, we need to be using PTE AV Studio Professional version. We need that version to have access to this orange envelope tool, which allows very easy sound editing. Any sound file can be dragged from the file list here into the timeline. Now I've done that for demo purposes here with my music, voice and also a sound effect. To allow the mixing of music, voice and sound effects, we drag each sound file down into a separate track and you can see that shown here. Now we need two specialist items to help us. They're commonly known as ears. I have quite a large pair that double to keeping my glasses in place. So let's start with just our music track in place. So let me drag my first voice recording down into track 2. Then I can click and drag that into the position I want it. Obviously we can change this at any time. Now we can lock this sound file to an image if we need to. For example, if I wanted the sound to be hooked up to this particular image, and sometimes we do, highlight it, right click on the voice one, and there you can see I can link it to slide four. So if I needed to move slide four around, you can see the sound file goes with it. Click on the orange line here and a blue audio point will be placed. Right click to remove any of these audio points that you don't want. Let's create four in total. Now I'm looking at my commentary because these audio points can be clipped and dragged to reduce the volume of the music so the voice can be heard. We need to use the third audio key point to maintain the reduced volume for the length of the commentary, but then using the fourth one, we can bring it back to the volume we want. Now this is where those specialist items come into play. Listen and adjust the audio points to get the balance perfect. It's England, August 1642, and the year's harvest is underway. Now I have a couple of tips here for those times when you may need them. If you hit the control key and F12, you can reduce the length of the timeline, F11 will increase it. So if you need to do more delicate work, you've got the opportunity to do that. Let me quickly reset that. But you can also adjust the width of the waveform too. And sometimes we do need to do that. If we go to the settings at the top of the screen and we choose preferences and timeline, here's the one we want, audio track height. Let's push it up to the maximum of 400 and you get the idea. If we wanted to do some really delicate work here, we've got the opportunity to do that much easier. And I've put another keyframe there by mistake, so I'll just right click. But there you can see what I mean. We can adjust this very, very carefully. To reset it, go back and do the reverse. As I bring you back into the timeline, you'll see that I've added my second voice recording in exactly the same way as before. Sometimes the fading of the music needs an extra audio point or more. You can see I've added one here. We can add as many as we like, of course. It's how the sound file sounds that's important. Now I need to drag down the sound of the drums from the file list into the timeline to match the appropriate images. But the techniques we use for that are identical to our commentary. Although here we're using that third track because the sound effects overlap that commentary. A couple of tips to end. 
You can remove a number of audio key points by right clicking the timeline sound. By clicking here, you can export your entire multi-track sound file into one MP3 or a WAV file if you wish. If you have any ideas for five minute videos, please place them below, I'll do my best. The slideshow I've been using to demonstrate here is a real audio visual presentation. I'll link to that below too. Thanks for watching.